It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas at Hobby Lobby, and it's so pretty, it's so beautiful. Like, seriously, I just walked around the Christmas tree area because I really needed those winter vibes. If only they had like the AC cranked up to the very highest, it would be perfect, right? <laughs> I would feel those winter vibes because it's still pretty warm where I live. But yes, super cute ornaments at Hobby Lobby. Lots of wonderful Candyland designs, and it's just really beautiful and just really fun to look around. And if you're looking for stocking stuffers, definitely drop by the jewelry department. Lots of really great deals. And similar to all my other videos, I am going to show you guys some really quick DIY projects along the way. So let's just jump right into it. First off, I want to talk about this glue right here, which is only 62 cents. This is a fabric embellishing adhesive. It permanently bonds hard to hold items such as plastic, metal, glass, beads, rhinestones, pearls, and sequins to fabric. For my fabric, I actually just went a few aisles down. I found this zipper pouch also for only 62 cents. And so that's where I tested all the little rhinestones. So yeah, I probably should have did a better job in terms of <laughs> putting the glue on there, but you know, I didn't set up my tripod and it was just gonna be a really quick video, but I'm so glad that it says that it is quick drying and dries clear because that it did. It didn't look half as bad as what it looked like earlier. And so it did dry clear. And if you wanted to, you can just do random patterns. This one was a floral. You can also do just like random rhinestones. On a previous haul, they had some Cricut vinyl, some iron-on Cricut vinyl. So I do plan on using that on here as well to personalize these. So it's a really great deal for only 62 cents. They also had some jewelry, they had some earrings, and with this one it actually has like a place where you can put a pendant or add onto it, so that's what I did here. I added some more beads. I, these ones are actually Austrian crystals. And then the next one are like the faux pearls. And then this one right here, the one with the yellow with the bows, I actually added um, a little charm to that, a little ladybug charm, which you can also pick up at the Hobby Lobby sale. This comes with six. These are actually glass beads. And I love this a lot because you guys already know I love ladybugs. I have them throughout my craft room. So I definitely had to have this one in my collection. And as you can tell, the yellow ladybug paired perfectly with the yellow earrings. And I did make these two separate lengths on purpose. I just think that, you know, it was such a playful design that I wanted to have it at two different lengths. And then also they had this unicorn, which is magical because I don't know, when it hits the light, it has like this really cute sparkle to it. And it's like, I don't know, little unicorn magic fairy dust or something. <laughs> super, super cute. Didn't really do anything with this project quite yet. And then there are more items like this one right here, which is what they call a mini chandelier pendant. And I use this for earrings a lot. I picked up a lot of the gold ones in the past. So this was the Alice in Wonderland earrings that I showed you for my very first haul video. So I had the earrings and when I was at Hobby Lobby, I saw some mushroom pendants and that kind of also reminds me of um, Alice in Wonderland. So I figured I can turn these into necklaces. I don't know, mushrooms, because like when she meets that really trippy caterpillar dude, right? So yeah, I thought the mushrooms were like very fitting for Alice in Wonderland theme. There are definitely a few hidden treasures to this jewelry sale. And I will say it's not on the grand scale like it used to be in the past. I remember shopping at these jewelry sales where pretty much the whole aisle was marked down and was like really cool and fun because you get to go through a lot of different items. But this one is kind of like, I wanna say, not really slim pickings. I mean, if you get there on time and you're able to catch it, you get to find some really great deals. And I will say that one of the associates at the second store that I went to said that they were really late in putting all the markdowns out because they were working on other projects. So just check in with your store, see if they started their markdowns on this or not, because if you're gonna go to the jewelry sale, you probably wanna be one of the first ones there because if your store is anything like mine, then you usually just have one or two in stock. And so a lot of the Disney items were on sale. Those were marked down. And then they also had some of the fairy tale items marked down. This one is actually a repurchase. I know the little splotches in the background are a bit distracting, but you know, when I was putting the bag into my trunk, it fell out. And so it was like on the parking lot and I was like, well, you know what, let me just spray it with my disinfectant. <laughs> so that is what you guys are seeing right there. If you've never done any type of jewelry making whatsoever, this is actually a really great deal to be able to kind of like incorporate a lot of your beads that you might have in your craft room. This one is just a pinch bale, so you don't need any real tools. You can literally just bend this back on your own using your hands, and then you can just stick a little bead in there, which I did here. These are like the Austrian crystal type beads, so you know you can either use your Swarovski crystals or your Preciosa crystals, although the Swarovski crystals are really hard to find nowadays. So I think a lot of 
the store stopped selling those beads, but luckily I still have a good stash left over. So yeah, these are really super cute for that. And it's nice, you can have them every single color, make your own earrings, match with your outfits, or even, you know, Christmas, if you wanna make a handmade gift, this would be a really great, great way to do that. This is another cute set. It has six different crowns on here, and it's really nice. It has like the beautiful little rhinestones on there. And you can also put this like on your paper craft, so it'd be a nice little dangle to like your shakers. And then also this one right here is it's an actual book, so you can actually write on here. It has pages and a lot of little pages as well. So this is really nice and handy. You can put this in your purse and then you always have like paper with you if you need to jot down something. But I'll probably incorporate this one into a jewelry piece. I'm gonna try to design something for a book lover in the family. So definitely gonna be really cute for that. And then if you need any type of like extensions, if you're making bracelets or whatnot, or even if you need lobster clasp, this is actually a really great deal. This is called On Accord. It's a little findings kit for only $1.49. And the other pieces are just cord crimps in three different sizes from the same brand on a cord. They had these cord sliders, which honestly, I really don't know how to use these for its intended purpose. But what I plan on using for them for, of course, is gonna just be in jewelry. I think this would be really great to add for your earrings or connect them into a really nice pendant piece. And a lot of the UV resin area items, those were on sale by the jewelry shop. This one is Ocean Theme Open Bezels. I don't actually do the UV resin, but these can definitely just go as regular pendants on necklaces. You don't really even have to fill them in with the resin. So this was $1.24, you're getting four different animals. The seahorse, which is actually a pretty good size, the whale, the dolphin, and the octopus. And if you don't do any type of jewelry and you've always wanted to get into jewelry making, you know, definitely check out the pliers. Those were on sale. It's actually a whole kit so you can create jewelry with. So this is really nice. It comes with the pliers, the instructions, it comes with the beads, it comes with like the earrings, and it comes with the wire that you can put everything together. I think all together they had about four different sets and two of the sets actually had the same type of plier. So I just bought one of each type of plier. This particular plier is kind of like the rounded plier, but this would be a really great stocking stuffer. And then they also had some other wires. I know I picked one of these up, I believe on Amazon. This was like $11 on Amazon at one point. So it was really great to find it on sale. I did pick this up. It was not on the sale price clearance, but I picked it up because it kind of reminded me of guitar picks and I thought it was really cool. And it did have kind of like Halloween vibes to it. And if you guys need any type of trick or treat ideas, don't forget to check out this video. It's actually a video where I show you guys where to print out really cute Hello Kitty items for free. So you can check out that video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video. I thank you all so much for watching and I hope you all have a very wonderful day.